sports office on the road at the coaches convention, all kind of coaches, football, basketball, softball, baseball, all here learning more about how to service the athletes. And of course, we have a champion on my right here. And that would be Michael Bradley, head football coach at Mayfield High School. And coach, you guys just plug them in and, and you get them going every year. <laughs> well, we're, we're excited about this year. And uh, I mean, we've had a lot of great years and last two years we've come up a little bit short against Rio Rancho last year in the fourth and against Las Cruces at home in the fourth. And so uh, our kids are pretty fired up and, uh, and, and they're working hard and, and we're excited about the year. So the third time is truly the charm in this case, right? <laughs> well, that's a good saying. I hope it comes true. <laughs> but what, do you, what do you have coming back to if, you know, let people know what you got coming back? Because as you just pointed out, I mean, you guys have been in the championship the last two years. And so obviously that's not an accident. You got, you got some talent on that team. Well, what we have coming back is we have a lot of good kids, got a lot of good young men, uh, hard workers, guys that have great attitudes. Uh, I mean, we're, we're normally not the biggest, fastest, strongest team in the state. And, uh, you know, and, and our kids, they play with a lot of heart and a lot of passion. And, and they work for everything they get. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens this year. We, we've got a tough schedule again, starting off with Hobbs and Hobbs and, and, and uh, going to, and having Franklin at home, which is the toughest team in El Paso. And, and then we, we have Carlsbad, my brother. We're going to hook up in Carlsbad, and I think maybe uh, half of New Mexico might be there just to see that game. And that'll be an interesting one. And then uh, we got Manzano and El Dorado, and then we start district. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a heck of a year. Going back to that Carlsbad game, what is it like? You know, like I know you, having your brother in Farmington and all that, and, and, and uh, you know, like the Bradley brothers are around here. When you guys face each other, what is that like? Well, we, we haven't faced each other yet. Uh, we, we've been on the same team at Mayfield, and then he left to Farmington. I'm really proud of my brother. He did a great job up there in Farmington and before going to, before going to yeah. Carlsbad and, and, and got a great opportunity in Carlsbad. And Carlsbad has one of, you know, the, it's, a, it's a great football town, great sports town. And, and uh, you know, he's, it, 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 they're never a down program, but Gary, you know, I, I know he's going to take it to another level. And so we got to be at our best, and that'll be an exciting game, and, and, and it'd be good to see him more often. Yeah, you know what? He, he got Farmington to the state championship right away, and and, and uh, the family secrets. I guess you, you you know you guys being brothers, that's that's going to be like a headbanger when you guys finally meet. Yeah, we might have to change up a few things, and, and he's already <laughs> changing up a few things. I know him, you know. Uh, so it, it'll be an interesting event. It really will. Uh, and and you know, it, like I said, I I'm excited about it, and I I know my family's excited about it, and they're kind of. You know, they're wondering who are we going to cheer for. Hopefully, they're probably hopefully they're going to cheer for both of them. I mean, my, the last time we were in the state championship against Cruces and and, and uh, Gary was in the state championship up in Farmington with Goddard, my mom went to Farmington. So, you <laughs> she, know, she owes, she, she, she owes me one, but I, I, I didn't like that too darn much. But he said, well, he doesn't go to the state championship all the time. Well, <laughs> <laughs> she went and they won, and that's good. But, you know, she better get back on the Trojan side. <laughs> well, speaking of the Trojans, talk about some of your personnel you got coming back, like skill positions and things like that. Well, at the skill positions, we, we're, we're pretty solid at, at most of those. Uh, Joe, Joe Ray Valencia, uh, he was our backup quarterback last year for KJ, and, and he has really come on. He knows our offense inside and out. Uh, you know, he, he may not be as good of an athlete as KJ, but I think he'll run the offense extremely well. Uh, we've got a, a, some good wide receivers. Uh, Gavin Swenson, I think he's a 6'3", 200-pound guy, and, and uh, he can jump through the roof, and he, he's, he's going to be a very good receiver. Um, we've, we've got uh, Patrick Shannon in the backfield and uh, Isaac Vance in the backfield. Uh, Isaac, just about every time he touched the ball last year, he scored a touchdown. He's, he's, he was the best running back at the New Mexico preps. I know that doesn't mean a whole lot, but, yeah. <laughs> you know, well, he, no, he's, a, means, he's a good athlete. He, he just got athlete. offered by New Mexico State University. Yeah. He did a little guy, but I guarantee he got a big heart. Yeah, well, well uh, speaking of big heart, last year, you, you, the, the, how long did the hangover last when you guys fell a little short? You know, like it looked like, that whole thing was interesting towards the end of the championship game with Rio Rancho. Yeah, it, it, it didn't last long. You know, we, we, we understand about winning and losing. We don't, we, yeah, we've we won, 
Yeah, I mean, it, we've been in the state championship the last two years and lost that damn thing. We don't, nobody likes losing, but at the same time, you know, it, 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 you get there, there's a reason why you got there. You're doing the right things. And uh, with the kids, with the program, and I, I, we're all proud of those kids. And, you know, as soon as we got on the bus, you know, I had my, my parents or my mom, she tells me my dad just went in the hospital, you know, and that pretty much, you know, puts you back out to reality. Yeah, sure you know, it's it's not winning and losing in a football game, nothing compared yeah. to, you know, uh, having your father or death in the family or something like that. That's 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 the tough things. Yeah. Games, you know, they come and go, and, and you put a lot into them and everything, and everybody wants to win, but uh, uh, you, you're not going to win all the time. How is he doing, by the way, now? You know he's doing the best that he can, and uh, he he's he's such a hard nosed tough guy, yeah, and, yeah. and he's he's sticking in there. Of course, we talked about Coach Jim Bradley, Michael's father. And now, uh, Mike, thanks for joining us, giving us some of your time. And I know you're busy, so we'll let you go once again. Michael Bradley, head coach of the Mayfield Trojans, they're always in the championship game, and a lot of times they win it. We'll see what happens this year. Ryan O'Connor behind camera. I'm Van Tate. We'll see you next time.